Hi, welcome back to McClutchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClutchy and today I'm going to be taking you through another complex question using distance on the earth and earth geometry concepts. This is aimed at students right across Australia from Queensland all the way to Western Australia and Tasmania. So here's our question. This was taken from the Queensland Community Mock B paper for 2020 paper number two and it's question seven. Tamale in Ghana is in Africa and is on the prime meridian at a latitude of nine degrees north. If town B is on the same latitude as Tamale and the shortest distance between the two towns is 2,745.77 kilometres, determine the only possible coordinates of town B and evaluate the reasonableness of your results with reference to the world map below. Well, once again, there's a lot of information going on there and the best thing to do is to draw a picture. As you can see, I do like my art. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at this map and work out where Tamale is. So this particular line here is my prime meridian. As you can see, I've passed that through Greenwich. That's important to know if you're ever given a map. The prime meridian passes through Greenwich, which is where the Royal Observatory in London is. And that is zero degrees. Okay, and here we are, just um, around nine degrees on the map. And where those two lines cross, that is where Tamale is going to be, right there in the western part of Africa. Okay, let's bear that in mind and we're gonna draw our own picture in a moment. So there's Tamale, let's move on and we'll create our own little picture here with the equator and the prime meridian in roughly the same positions. So there's Tamale there, nine degrees north of the equator and right on the prime meridian where that dotted line crosses over the red line. And I'm putting a big blob on there so that we know exactly where Tamale is. Now we need to find town B in relation to Tamale. Well, we know they're both at the same latitude and we don't know, however, that it could be east and it could be west. So we're going to work either direction. So town B could be here, both at nine degrees north, because they've got that same latitude. One's going to be east, one's going to be west. The only thing they've got in common is that same distance. So we've got to work out what is the actual um, coordinates of town B and then try and place that on the map and see if it makes sense. Okay, so let's move that to the left and choose a formula and write it down. Well, we know we've got that common latitude for Tamale and Town B. So that means we are going to choose our formula from our formula sheet with the cosine in it. Now, it took me a long time to work out a way to remember this. And the way that I remember it is that the word trigonometry has two T's in it. T for trig and nometry for the second T. Latitude also has two T's in it. Latitude. So that's the way I remember um, to use this particular formula. If it's got the same latitude, then I'm going to use the trigonometry formula, two T's for both of them. That's the only way I could think of to remember it. Hopefully that will help you too. Maybe you've got a better way, write in and let me know. Okay, so we're going to state our variables. Now this is important because we know we've got D, that um, distance is 2,745 kilometers between the two towns. So we've worked out D. We have worked out that they've got a common latitude. That's going to be our value for theta. That's going to be 9. We know 111.2, that's the constant that stays in the question. So what we are trying to find out is that angular distance. I'm going to replace that with the variable x because it's a pain to write angular distance every single time. Okay, so now we need to do some maths. Okay, we're going to substitute those variables into our formula. We now know that that distance is going to be the subject of our equation and we need to do some transposing and hopefully your algebra is not too bad and you'll be able to do this without any problems. We're going to divide both sides by 111.2 cosine of 9 because that's going to be a number when we plug that into our calculator. And let's do that. We've worked out now that they've got a 25 degree difference. Okay, excellent work. So now we're going to evaluate that using our map. Well, let's put Tamale back on the map and town B is either going to be 25 degrees to the east or 25 degrees to the west. And this is important that you've got those abilities to read your maps. Now we know from what's going on with our latitude um, going up it, that each of those lines is representing 10 degrees. And we know that that red line that's vertical is the prime meridian, so that's zero. So moving one square over to the left or one square to the right is going to be 10 degrees each time. So let's move over basically two and a half grid squares. That puts us right there in the middle of the ocean if we were to go in a westerly direction. So therefore it can't be that particular position. It's got to be to the east where I've got that green line and that's right in the middle of Africa. So town B's got to be nine degrees north. We knew that was going to be in common. 
and it's got to be 25 degrees east. It's really important at this stage that you write that down with a statement. So I've put a little point on the arrow. They've asked you to make reference to the map, so it wouldn't hurt to actually mark on the map where the town B is going to be. But you do need to write a statement that 25 degrees west is in the ocean, therefore the only possible place for town B to be would be 25 degrees east. That's the only logical place. So do write that down in a statement to finish off. Well, once again, we've come to the end of our video. We've done some complex questions. Do hit the notifications button so that you'll know when there'll be more ready to watch on this playlist. I will have some more coming up shortly, but you can also follow us on Facebook and that way you'll know when everything's coming as well and also get in touch with some little tidbits on the way. Have a wonderful day.